Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given triangle ABC whose three sides have been given to us. And when all three sides of a given triangle are known, we can easily use a law of cosines to solve this triangle. And by the way, solving a triangle means that we need to calculate the missing angles in this triangle. And here are the law of cosines that we will be using during our calculations. You can see that one and that's going to help you a lot. So now let's get started with our this problem. We need to solve this uh, triangle ABC. In this triangle ABC, our vertex A is right up here. That means alpha is going to be this angle and the side opposite to this vertex A is going to be a lowercase a right up here. And here is vertex B. That means this angle is going to be beta angle and the side opposite to this vertex B is going to be lowercase b and likewise for this vertex C this angle is going to be gamma and the side opposite to this vertex C is going to be this lowercase c. So that means we are going to figure out these three angles alpha beta and gamma. Thus our given values, our known values are A side equals to 44 feet, side B is 29 feet and side C is 50 feet. And we need to calculate alpha angle, angle beta and angle gamma. So in the very first step we need to calculate the missing angle alpha and we will be using this law of cosine right up here as you can see. And right now let's go ahead and apply these values. A square A equals to 44 so A square is going to be 44 square equals to B is 29 square of course plus c square is going to be 50 square minus 2 times b is 29 and c is 50 cosine of alpha. Let's go ahead and take care of these squares. So that's going to be 44 square is going to be a 1936 equal to 800. 41 plus 2500 and we're going to multiply this part so that's going to turns out to be a negative 2900 cosine of alpha so far so good so now we're going to go ahead and add these two quantities so we got 1936 equals to this is going to be 3341 minus 2900 times co sine of alpha. Let's go ahead and move on to next step I want you to move this quantity on the left hand side so we got 1936 when you move this quantity on the other side becomes negative 3341 equals to negative 2900 cosine of alpha and when you subtract this thing that's going to give you negative 14 O five equals to negative twenty nine hundred cosine of alpha. I want you to divide both sides by twenty nine hundred and by negative twenty nine hundred this side as well. These two quantities reduce they cancel each other out. So we got cosine of alpha 
equals to 0 0.4845 that means alpha is going to be equal to cosine inverse of 0 0.4845 Thus, alpha turns out to be approximately equals to 61 degrees. And in step 2 right now, we're going to calculate the missing angle beta and we're going to use this law of cosines. So let's go ahead and apply the values. So B is 29. So this is going to become 29 square equals to A is 44. So it's going to become 44 square plus C is 50. So it's going to become 50 square minus 2 times A is 44 times C is 50 cosine of beta. So let's go ahead and take care of these squares. So 29 square equals to 841 equal to 1936 plus 2500. And let's simplify this part, multiply it out. So that's going to be negative 400. 4400 cosine of beta. Let's add these two quantities up. So we have 841 on the left hand side. If you add these quantities, that's going to give you 4436 minus 4400 cosine of beta. I want you to move this quantity on the left hand side so we got 841 when you move it on the other side become negative 4436 equal to negative 4400 cosine of beta so now we're gonna simplify this thing subtract we're gonna get negative 3595 equals to negative 4400 cosine of beta. I want you to divide both sides by 4400 with the negative sign. So negative 4400 this side as well. These cancel each other out. So we got cosine of beta when you simplify this thing that is going to be equal to 0 0.817. So that means beta equals to cosine inverse of 0 0.817. So thus angle beta turns out to be approximately equal to 35 point two degrees and this is our beta values and finally in this step three we are going to find the measure of the last missing angle gamma and let's recall the sum of all three angles of a given triangle is 180 degrees that means the sum of these alpha beta and gamma angles equal to 180 degrees let's go ahead and write it down alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to 180 and we know alpha equals to we figured out it was 61 degrees and plus beta we figured out was 35.2 degrees plus gamma equals to 180. Let's go ahead and add these two quantities up. So that is going to give you 96.2 plus gamma equals to 180. I want you to move this quantity on this side. So gamma equals to 180 minus 
0.2 that means gamma turns out to be equals to 83.8 degrees and that is our angle gamma so thus we have figured out our unknown values and alpha turns out to be 61 degrees beta turns out to be 35.2 degrees and gamma turns out to be 83.8 degrees you see this thing these are three values we figured out thus we have solved our this triangle a b c thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos